Boy, you talk about an interesting uh, scenario here. Hey guys, everything new under the sun. This is a, a news update uh, about Syria. And Syria kind of, uh, well, the Middle East is, is really um, the center of uh, Bible prophecy. And we know that Ezekiel 38 is fast approaching. And we know that Russia plays a big part in Ezekiel 38. And we know that Russia has power at the time of the fulfillment of Ezekiel 38. And uh, what's happening in Syria right now? Well, seemingly, the U.S. is actually giving power to Russia in Syria. Look at this one from BreakingIsraelNews.com. America to ask Russia for help combating Iran in Syria. But it's Russia that comes along with Iran, Persia, and other nations against Israel in Ezekiel 38. Well, check this out. The United States plans to ask Russia to help combat Iranian forces in Syria, according to a senior Trump administration official. The official remarked that the goal of the unprecedented diplomatic opportunity in Jerusalem, where top security uh, officials from U.S., Israel, and Russia were, will meet later this month, is to see how we can potentially work together to get rid of the primary irritant in the Middle East, which is the Islamic Republic of Iran. Again, you know, giving uh, Russia a greater role, uh, greater power, encouraging their forces, in fact, to come uh, to Syria is uh, pretty fascinating. And, and how this plays in, we don't know how exactly Ezekiel 38 rolls out, but we can read these stories and we can start seeing the picture of how uh, Russia gains power, gains control, gains significant significance, and they're not moving in there by force. In fact, it appears that the United States, even, and Israel are actually encouraging Russia uh, to go into Syria. And, and again, uh, as it relates to Bible prophecy in Ezekiel 38, the fulfillment of, this is fascinating news. We would hope to make the point of conjunction with Israelis that we don't see any positive roles for the Iranians, and that would extend beyond Syria to Lebanon, to Iraq, to Yemen, and other places they're active, it says. And if the Russians recognize that fact... I think we will be very pleased with that outcome, it says. So, very interesting. Um, apparent uh, looking for cooperation and, in fact, inviting Russia into Syria. Um, and this is going to bite them because, obviously, in Ezekiel 38, it's Russia that actually ends up deciding, okay, no, we're going we're gonna to come from the north. We're going to invade Israel with, the, with this alliance of nations uh, and uh, take it Israel. Great prophetic things happen at that point in time. But now you can see, really, uh, Russia being invited into Syria. Uh, they will be there with full force and by the full recognition and cooperation of uh, not only the world, but also of Israel and the U.S., interestingly. So in the U.S., uh, Israel is inviting them in, which, I, I don't know, it just astounds me. This is from the mirror.co.uk. Um, I don't know if there's a picture with it or not. I don't think so. Russia and U.S. warships nearly collide in dangerous, unsafe maneuvering. So you have these uh, Russian warships, and you talk about being, uh, you know, close to a trigger point for war and economic collapse. Not only do we have a ton of economic troubles and tariffs, um, Trump is uh, uh, threatening again more tariffs on China. Um, and uh, as you recall, the uh, the trigger point of 1929, the uh, Great Depression, was in fact tariffs. And those tariffs were implemented uh, prior to 1929. It took a couple months, but effectively that spooked investors. Um, and investors started getting out of the stock market and, and until it came to one day where they just kind of all started getting out en masse. Well, an aerial image shows a Russian's uh, Admiral Venegradov and U.S. Uh, U.S. Chancellorville dangerously close to one another. And so Russia is... is uh, um, uh, calling this uh, dangerous move uh, by the U.S. Vladimir Putin's Pacific Fleet claimed U.S. guided missile cruiser was to blame for nearly causing a collision, accusing American ship, the USS Chancellorville, of dangerous maneuvering. So you have some uh, cooperation, some agreement, but you also have obviously some long-standing uh, um, issues between the two countries and distrust there. There. And you have warships directly uh, uh, um, congregating and in direct paths of each other. Um, and uh, any one of these little things, you know, could be a trigger point for war. All right, All right folks, I'm going to leave it here. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. It's short, uh, but let's uh, we'll, we'll come together tomorrow again and take a look at the news headlines. And uh, we'll uh, continue on from there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.